Yes, welcome to all of you. I will introduce uh, Elisabeth Olhager, <laughs> 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 who is an associate professor and consultant in, neo in neonatology. She has, she's the head of the Department of Pediatric Surgery and Neonatology since 2011 at uh, the Skåne University Hospital. Before that, she was head of the NICU in Linköping University Hospital. The main subject in her research is body compose Competition. Competition. <laughs> it's a newborn and preterm infants. She is also a NIDCAP trainee. Yes. And hope to be, who she will be examined in April. So, please, Elizabeth, take the word. So, uh, I will uh, start to um, uh, tell you something ab about our vision for the Lundman NIDCAP uh, uh, Center. You all know uh, what NIDCAP stands for. Uh, but, however, I will start uh, with this picture uh, showing, by showing empathy with the uh, Ukrainian people including, of course, parents and children. We should all be gra grateful that we can gather here today. Uh, things can change. Malmö Lund uh, is located in the southern part of uh, Sweden, uh, in a region called uh, Skåne. Uh, and as you can see, we are very privileged uh, to be very close to uh, other countries. And uh, in, especially in Malmö, there is a huge mix of uh, people from all different uh, countries in the world, which, which we also see in our uh, <coughs> neonatal department there. It's very interesting to, to work there. And in Lund, we, we are very proud of our university and uh, all that, that we can uh, take and reach from that. But you can also see that we are close to, to Poland, uh, here is Belarus, and here we have Russia. Uh, uh, on an average day at Skåne University Hospital, hospital uh, around 24 children are born, and uh, five scientific articles are published. Uh, the main vision for Skåne University Hospital is the best possible health at all stages of life. We are very uh, proud and happy today uh, to have reached the goal being a NIDCAP uh, training and research uh, center. And many very competent and dedicated people here uh, in Malmö and Lund has been involved. But I would like to po point out one person who has had a great importance for NIDCAP in Sweden. Many of you know Marie Hassel. Uh, she's a natal nurse and a midwife. She was trained here in, in Lund. And she passed away uh, a year ago in breast cancer. She moved to Linköping in 1999. And uh, she s started quite early there to work uh, with uh, promoting NIDCAP development. And, she, and in, in 2015, the, unit, the NICU in Linköping could be NIDCAP certified. That was the first NICU in Sweden that was NIDCAP certified. Then she moved to, uh, to uh, Malmö Lund in 2016. And immediately when she came here, she said that, well, we should have a NIDCAP center here in in uh, Malmö Lund, and, it, uh, and I, I, I think it should be uh, possible to have that in 2022. And now we are here. Uh, as you know, um, the health and welfare 
fair in Sweden is totally publicly uh, financed and uh, and uh, the health and welfare we provide in in Sweden should be based on equality but for us in name natural care we 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 think that means equity. The authority uh, of health and welfare in Sweden has identified in equality in uh, the care of the sick newborn infants and premature infants and, pub uh, and thus published uh, a report in uh, last year uh, and it's called the care chain for children who need neonatal care and their families. And this is national recommendations uh, from this authority uh, to support uh, decision uh, to, to support uh, decision making uh, for um, uh, for the staff. And during the pandemic, you know that we have gotten recommendations uh, from uh, Folkhälsomyndigheten and you know that in Sweden recommendation is very strong. Uh, the next level is a law. So I am, we are very happy for this recommendation that from, the, from the National Board of uh, Health and, and Welfare. So what does these recommendations tell us? Um, we should work with safe handovers. Uh, that means that when families move between different NICUs, uh, the, the handovers between the NICUs should be, very, should be safe. There should also be a safe handover from the, when the period in the NICU is, is over and uh, the family is going home. It, it does also tell us the care and nursing support. There are also recommendations in care and nursing uh, and support for the family during the care period in the hospital and shortly uh, after. And we should also work with patient safety. There are 15 recommendations uh, that are evidence-based uh, and graded uh, between 1 and 10, where 1 is the most important and 10 is the less important thing to do. And all grades in these recommendations are between 2 and 4. So it's, it's, it's very strong and important. And I will just point out uh, four of these 15. Uh, we should ensure that children and parents are not separated. We should offer skin-to-skin -skin care as often as possible. We should ensure parental involvement in the care of the child, but actively and by actively encouraging the presence and care of the child. We should also give parents support in observing and understanding the child's behavior. And that's why we are here, and you are all very good at that. And these recommendations are also our vision. We don't want to make it a more, more fuss about that. Can we reach this? We have gone very, very far. Thank you.